Hi guys, it's Camila here. So today I'm going to be showing you my daytime skincare routine. So let's get into it. So the first step which I would use would be these wipes here. They are Missler oil, oil cleansing wipes. And I have very, very dry skin. So this is for dry and sensitive skin. So I feel like my skin does, well, benefit off them. So yeah, let's get wiping. First of all, I'm going to put my hair back a little bit. I know this looks really weird because my forehead looks huge, but let's just ignore that. So let's just take one, close it up again. It smells really nice. It smells like argan oil. So I'll just use these to cleanse our face with any impurities. Get that really, really, really good cleanse. And then afterwards, we are going to go in with a, another cleanse to double cleanse our face. If you have ever heard of a 10 step Korean skincare routine, you will know that double cleansing is like very important. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I've got all of the areas on my face. These oil cleansing wipes are really, really good also for like waterproof makeup. I think they're really, really good for waterproof makeup. Because since oil and like waterproof makeup don't go very easily. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, well that's done. I think, well my skin feels a little bit rough after that because, you know, wipes. But, I think it did a pretty good job. So, let's get on to the second step of the cleansing routine. So, the second step of the cleansing skincare routine is your other cleanser. So this is the one that I have. It's the Dr. Organics cleanser. It also exfoliates at the same time. So I would not recommend it every single day because you can over exfoliate your skin, which is well, not good. <laughs> so it's really, really nice. So it illuminates and radiates your face after washing and it exfoliates and brightens your skin. So I think that's really good. Plus, the ingredients don't look that bad. Um, yeah, so let's get washing. <laughs> so let's get our faces wet. Get our face wet. Get our face wet. You gotta wet your face with this one. <laughs> so that the exfoliating isn't too harsh as well, but that the face wash actually works. So you take a little bit of it onto your hand. There we go. This looks so gross but I promise you that it's not that bad. So I'll take my trusty mirror <laughs> and then I will apply it onto the face. Sorry if I do not look in the camera, I'm just trying to, well, put this on. <laughs> but yeah. You just gently scrub, don't do it harshly because, well, it can damage your skin. So you scrub, 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 gently. I don't do it for long, just enough to get all the oil that we actually put on off and the dirt all out of the T-zone where mainly my skin would be dry and would be very, well, bad. And then the rest of the face to make sure that I don't get pimples. One thing that I actually did is pick the pimple. It's the worst thing that you could actually do to your skin and I did it. <sighs> right. So, time to wash this off. I will be right back after I wash this off. I am back. So, my skin is exfoliated, double cleansed and dry. Now it craves moisture. It literally craves moisture. So first of all, what I'm going to be using is this toner. It is the oh, focus <laughs> simple soothing toner. 
and this one is 100% alcohol free and for my skin it won't dry it out so I think this is very very good alcohol, certain alcohols can be very very damaging to our skin but this one it has so many little ingredients in it that I think like this is really good this is really really good so I definitely will recommend the simple soothing facial toner and it was actually very cheap I actually got a thing for one something um, from Superdrug and it was on sale half price so yeah definitely worth the buy <laughs> so let's tone so what we're going to be doing is opening the bottle and putting toner generous generously on our pad close the toner and then we gently I mean gently wipe it across our face Mm, it smells like it doesn't even have a fragrance, which is good because fragrance can be really bad for our skin. Oh, well, some people are very sensitive to fragrance too, so I think this is very, very good. And toner is an essential step in order for some like face masks to actually, you know, get into our skin more. Just toner is toner. It's it's. It's amazing, <laughs> especially this one. This one's absolutely beautiful. I love this toner, so I definitely would recommend it. So now that we have toned our face, time to get on to some essences and serums. For the essence that I'm going to use on my face, I'm going to be using leftover essence from this Innisfree Rose face mask. This face mask is actually amazing. The Innisfree range is absolutely amazing and whenever I first put it on my skin I was like whoa whoa my mom even said it brightened my skin and made it look good so that's wow <laughs> so let's put on some of that leftover essence over our skin this is a really good tip because Whenever we have some good face masks, we often tend to throw away that extra, like, essence. And I think that this is so bad because all of this essence that you're putting onto your face should be left over so that you can use it even more. And you can have more benefits from it until you run out of it, which I'm nearly running out of it. But it gives you those benefits from that face mask onto your actual skin. So yeah. And there we go. We also, tip of the day, always put some essence onto your neck. Your neck is just as important as your face. Because if you don't do your neck, and in the future your face will look beautiful and your neck will look old. And there's no lie in how old you are because your neck shows everything. So yeah, that's the essence all put on and we'll wait for it to dry in. And then we'll put on the serum. So now that the essence has technically soaked in, I'm going to leave the neck to last because it's still a little bit wet. But it's always good to wait for your essence to, well, soak in. So the next product, I actually just got it through the post today, is the 10% Niacinamide plus 1% Zinc from Revolution. It's basically the same formula as the Ordinary except for some of the ingredients I find that there was this ingredient in the ordinary um, niacinamide serum that was a bit harsher on the skin than the revolution one so we'll see how it goes it has pretty good reviews it's vegan cruelty free and fragrance free so a good thumbs up for our skin so Ooh. This looks so fancy. Okay, so let's put some of that serum on. I don't know if I'm even putting on the serum on. <laughs> let's see. Are we actually putting on some of the serum on? Ooh, yes, I think so. I'll put it on absolutely everywhere. Don't know how much you're actually supposed to put on, but I hope this is good enough. <laughs> right. 
but it does not have a fragrance just like it states it is so nice and it glides over your skin so well it's supposed to get rid of blemishes this here is the spot that I was actually picking at and I should not be picking at spots because it leaves scars and all that kind of stuff but you can get rid of them using the vitamin C serum which I have still to buy <laughs> but yeah smother that serum all over your face all over your face so that's the serum done and now what we're going to do is put on a face mask so this is the face mask I'm going to be using it's the Innisfree green tea face mask and it's supposed to be very very good for your skin it's supposed to well it says here this refreshing water type real mask enriched with fresh moisture from delicately fragrant green tea keeps dry skin moisturized so let's put it on <laughs> I'm gonna be putting this on near my mirror <laughs> so hopefully this is not gonna be so messy as it's well hoping it not to be <laughs> does it smell like green tea oh <laughs> It smells so nice. Oh wow. It smells literally like green tea, but it's not so strong. So I think it's actually really, really good. Ooh. There's a lot of essence in this as well. So I'm just gonna put that down for a sec. And then we shall proceed with putting on the sheet mask. The sheet itself is like, very very like thin do you see how thin it is you can literally see through it well from my point of view anyway and then we just oh. I love face masks but I also have a love hate relationship with them because they're so hard to fucking open <sighs> struggling 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 oh I think we're getting somewhere okay Right, come on. Right, we have got it, so now we shall put it on. Let's try. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so awkward at putting on face masks, it's actually unreal. But, I think we generally got it. I shall fix this up and then come back. So we're going to be continuing with this device right here. It you can turn it on to two different settings and it will help get the serum in a little bit more. Just like that. Across the forehead it's a little bit sore because the forehead's like very skinny compared to your cheeks which have much more fat and your nose. <laughs> uh, this is so painful and fun at the same time. It's just me that hits these lip parts. I think they're so annoying. There we go, there we go. BTS fans, I am an army too, so stream Dechita, stream Augusty's album D2, and we all know Yingi Slade. Like, did you ever see the Dechita music video? Honey, he looks so good. <laughs> he looks so fucking good. That man is something else. I would give up my life for him. Everything for Yoongi. Little meow meow power. Now we can take off the sheet mask after like 10 to 15 minutes. So, here we go. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite feelings. Because 
Honestly, nothing can beat the feeling of a sheet mask being taken off. You can put the rest onto your skin. Because it's essence. Essence is good for everything. Yeah, and you also have the leftover essence from uh, your sheet mask in your wee little pouch. So, yeah. Now we will get into more moisturising creams and in the end your SPF which is very very important to not get wrinkles so easily to protect your skin generally because if you think about it if you only use sun sunscreen like when you're just going out on like holidays to the beach I mean yes you're protecting your skin but your skin will always get damaged from the UV rays they don't just exist outside they also travel through like windows or whatnot like you can't hide from the UV rays so neither can your skin always make sure to put a good quality SPF I'm just going to use a trusty trusty tube of Nivea cream I have been using it ever since childhood and I've tried so many more different moisturizers I'm going to show you them now I have used this one here, the Dr. Organic Aloe Vera Skin Lotion. I did not even realize it's a skin lotion, so I thought it would be useful for the skin. Well, it's not too bad, but it's really, really strong on, like, scent-wise. Does it have any perfume in it? Mm, it does, but it's near the bottom of the product, like the ingredient list. So it's not supposed to be a lot of it. But I guess aloe vera, cocoa seed, shea butter, apple fruit, extract, vitamin E oil, and sunflower seed oil probably have maybe very strong scents. I'm unsure. Then I try to use this one here, the Sukin Signature Facial Moisturizer. But it's just, I hate the way it coats your face white. It's just really weird. And I don't feel so moisturized after it since my skin's really dry. So... For me, Nivea just wins. So let's apply a little bit of Nivea cream here, and a bit of Nivea cream here, and a bit here, and a bit here, and here. <laughs> and on your neck, don't forget your neck, girl or boy. Girl or boy. Whoever's watching, we don't judge on this channel. I think I put on too much, so. Spread all over your arms, wherever else that needs moisture. Cause, girl, your whole body will thank you for it. Will definitely thank you for it. So, that's the moisturizing done. And now we get on to our SPF. Yay! <laughs> and now our final step. SPF. This is the one I use. It's the highest 50. Although... There is a 50 plus, but I just use the 50 for now since I'm going to invest in a better one. And it's for kids, but who cares? It's SPF. <laughs> plus, it brushes sand off easily and relieves dryness, which is good because we need to get rid of the dryness. So, let's put on some of that SPF. We don't need much. We honestly don't need much. It all depends on where you put it. Now I'm just putting it on my face. And a little bit on my neck. After using all these products, you can see that my skin is very glowy, looking moisturized. Do you see it? Do you see it? And now our skin is completely done. I'm ready for the day. So that's my daytime skincare routine. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Awesome. You're so lovely, I'm so lovely, we're so lovely, 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 lovely. So love you. See you in my next video. Bye.